I've mentioned Adventure Time at least once in both of my past two videos, so I think it's time I actually make a video about it. This isn't a review, though. This is a different type of video. Join me as I, Capanarmic, count down my top favorite Adventure Time episodes of Season 1. I don't think I need to make a disclaimer that this type of video was heavily opinionated, but I'll do it anyway. This type of video is heavily opinionated. There, I did it. Still gonna get hate comments. Come on, brother, we're just trying to beat the heat. Yeah, there's a big sleepy lava man in our front yard, and he is so hot. Mm-hmm. Number five, Prisoners of Love. This episode marks the introduction of the Ice King. I mainly love how this episode acquaints us with his messed up mentality. You don't understand. I collect princesses because I want to marry one. Well, why'd you capture six of them if you just want to marry one? It's not like he wants to be an abusive, controlling husband. He legitimately wants to treat these princesses right. It's just... he doesn't know how. As far as he knows, kidnapping and threatening girls are a surefire way to start intimate relationships. And it's hilarious to see him think that. Actually, it's kind of sad and disturbing when you think about it. Ugh. I also love these princesses! Oh, they're so cute! Except you. I don't like you. But look at Wildberry Princess jumping around! And look at Raggedy Princess! Oh, it's too cute! I love it so much! So, so. Number four, Evicted. Here's another episode that introduces a character. I'm Marceline, the Vampire Queen. Marcy, even though she doesn't have the biggest role in this episode, is still pretty cool. She's all like, get out of my house, and Finn's like, no, nah, son, and Jake's like, Finn, stop. Then Marcy gives Finn unwanted affection, but Finn doesn't take it to trial because he's too busy fighting for civil rights, and Marcy's like, yeah, we cool now. Oh yeah, and the house hunting song is really fun and catchy. It makes the montage of the episode quite entertaining. And fought that sexy vampire lady. You know who really deserves to be in jail? I will show you the true jerks! Number three, what have you done? In other words, Ice King reenacts Gideon vs. Wainwright. That... That was a government joke, you... You might not get that. But yeah, Ice King gets thrown in jail without access to a lawyer. And Finn and Jake don't even know what he did wrong. They just throw him in jail because little Miss Pink Booty said so. There are quite a few things I like with this episode. First of all, I enjoy seeing how Ice King proves his innocence, yet Finn and Jake still don't want to let him go because they don't know their judicial system. You have disrupted that order! For, are you ready for this? I have committed no recent crime! I also love the flashback that explains why Ice King was arrested. Please, I beseech your aid in the name of common decency! So, let me get this straight. You're hitting on me. I found that to be quite humorous. I also love how we venture deeper into the Ice King's sad existence and how he's so desperate for friends. But most of all, I love how emotionally extreme Princess Bubblegum is in this episode. No! I need more time! What have you done? Ich bin so glücklich! Ich könnte... Ich könnte... Calm your booty, please. Or what? Hey, Finn. <laughs> you thinking about how that guy's bow tie sort of looked like a bra? Huh? No! Number two, Henchmen. Oh hey, another Marceline episode. One of the reasons I enjoy this episode so much is that it establishes Marceline as a recurring character. When I saw Evicted for the first time, I honestly thought she was a one-off, but no, there she is. One can predict the plot of this episode from a mile away. Marcy messes with Finn, Finn misinterprets Marcy's intentions, rinse and repeat. But I don't think I enjoy the episode for the plot, but rather the friendship bond that Finn and Marcy develop over the episode. And it makes Marcy come across as more of a likable character. Back in Evicted, she was just an antagonist who you didn't hate. In this episode, she's more of an antagonist that you actually kinda like. And I really love how this episode was able to pull that off. Marceline is not how she seems. She's a radical dame who likes to play games. It's 
hopeless to try stopping a thief here. Everyone steals from each other. It's redo really ridiculous. Penny! Number one, City of Thieves. Penny. Mother loving Penny. Penny makes this episode great. I mean, yeah, Jake's tendency to want to steal is quite humorous, and Finn taking action by becoming one with the thief in order to catch a thief is pretty cool, but Penny! This girl is boss. I love how innocent she appears to be in the beginning. I love how big of a jerk she becomes after accomplishing her goal. I love how Finn and Jake are all like, Penny's good now, except she's not. Penny is supreme. Why the heck hasn't she come back yet? Tiffany came back, King Worm came back, Billy came back- oh yeah. But seriously, this girl needs to make a comeback sooner or later, preferably sooner. Or, uh, have some knife in your neck! Well, that's it for my top 5 episodes of Adventure Time's first season. Let me know if you like this type of video and if I should do more. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you think my list has the worst episode picks in all of existence... Have some knife in your neck! That's fine. After all, I'm just one opinion on the internet.